Uh, I'm gonna do somewhere like they, they seem to go against some of the other things, and sometimes it seems like things are going bad, and you kind of let them go bad a little bit, but you're kind of setting someone up. So half guard, and kind of in a far away half guard. So uh, like you go this kind of distance, you feel really comfortable, and, and at some point you want to sneak this bottom leg. You're putting this bottom leg, instead of in the half guard, you're kind of getting it a little bit more in like a guard. Uh, so this is the only thing you gotta pay attention to. Is you don't wanna get, we're not, everything I'm about to show, if you don't do what I'm saying right now, you're gonna be in a bad way. But if you can be here and you can sneak that leg, it's gonna be good. So, you remember Pete saying like, this situation here, where now the person can't get the underhook because you're across, you're across that center line. Well, for this one, you're gonna straight up give him that center line, part one. So now he's seen an underhook and he's starting to like the looks of that. That's number one. And then someone else said this knee, we don't wanna let this knee get compressed because then that's a real problem. So I'm here, he's got center line. I've, I've, I've broke the rule of the center line by putting this arm over here. Now this leg, he's gonna compress it, I'm gonna let it go. So now I've totally violated both things that we got told to save us one is the center line thing, so now he's got the underhook. The other thing, he's got this thing compressed. And now he's got a feeling of yeah. really good things in the world. So now, as he thinks he's going to pass me, he thinks he's going to get the underhook, he thinks he's going to smash me, I have, remember what I said earlier, I have this little foot here, which is going to kind of critical. If I don't have that, guess what? He is going to smash me. He's going to take me and he's going to do whatever. But he kind of wasn't paying attention. He's got to go enticed by all these victories, these little victories. So as he gets this kiss, when he can press now, as he starts to drive forward the pass, I take my leg all the way out. I'm going to push his head, and I'm going to go right to the block. It's just weird things that happen. Um, here, we're, we want to be in this position. We give up that. We want to have our knee up. We give up that. The person gets psyched. They start to drive forward. Pop that leg out. Push their head around. Come back, and you're going to go in the pot on he doesn't feel like he's winning anymore, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you let him feel like he's winning. Yep. Um, if you don't keep this foot with that, that little, and I don't even put pressure because I don't want him to think about it. It's like a little sneaky, like you're keeping it like a little, little just better not aware of it. And, and so much of the fight is for the underhook, and so much of the fight is to get this knee compressed. And it's pretty easy to get away with sneaking that foot out. So let's do a little bit in this direction. So I'm here, I gotta sneak that foot out. Boom. And I'll let him, like, make him fight a little bit, you know? Oh, oh no! <laughs> and then boom. See, I have to extend him away a little bit. Boom. And then boom. Does everybody know how to finish over a plot or raise your hand if you know? So, to finish the Umaplata, boom, boom, you let him come in, sneak, here. Um, a bunch of different ways to finish the Umaplata. Probably the most common one, what's the most common one? The com most common one, is straighten out your legs, sit up, grab, and you're gonna, you gotta switch, put your feet to the outside, slowly roll up until he taps. It's basically a Camaro with your legs. We can also sometimes, we gotta pop, and we gotta drive our knee to the ground, and we can finish with an arm lock right here. Uh, oh, the, you can get the foot lock right here, just yeah. the, the toe hold, it's there too. Um, yeah, wrist lock right here. Yeah, if they, if they do make it to the roll, you can transition to an arm lock right here. Switch to here, still an arm lock, still an arm lock, neck crank here. <laughs> But it's, the, it's just a, a way you can take advantage of someone's instincts where they're feeling good. And there's also something that's beneficial. You know, when you're just beating someone, their emotional, their emotional um, uh, destruction is less. When you have them high, they think you're doing good, then you take them. It's more devastating to their emotions, and that's what I like about this movie. <laughs> Yeah, it saves you. Where? It saves you as soon as he gets 
you, if someone gets this on you with the underhook, it, or sorry, with the knee, with the knee smash like this and underhook, you're in a lot of trouble. But if, as long as you have this here, you can you can you can control them. They, and you let them, you don't let them realize that until you're going for the evil block. So it's just that two seconds of yeah. pressure. Yep. Just like right when you're going for it, you extend it. So that, that moves nothing else. Boom a plot of that's it. Boom a plot of that's it. That's it. There's no recovery. No, the good thing is if you miss the Uma Plata, so if I miss the Uma Plata, I still extended him away. Yeah. I like, 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 if I do this to Echo right now, I go like this and he just whips his arm out, we're back here. Yeah. And look what I'm holding on to his wrist because we're starting to rest again. So it's kind of a free move. As long as you have this little, that, that little uh, protector, that little protector on the nose.